Assalamu alaikum and hi, I'm Cikgu Farah. In this video, we're going to learn about mathematics KSSM from 2, chapter 1, that is patterns and sequence. And we will focus on subtopic 1.1, patterns. Before we start, let's look at the learning standard 1.1.1. Recognizing and describe patterns of various number sets and objects based on real-life situation and hence make a generalization. Do you know what is patterns? Patterns are lists of numbers or objects arranged based on a rule or design. Okay, for first example, we're going to draw the next object and we are going to state its patterns. The first object in A question, we have two dot here. The second object, we have four dot. And the third object, we have six dot. We're going to find the fourth object. All right, so the first one, we have two means that the second one, to get the second one, we add two dots. To get the third one, we add two dot. So to get the fourth one also, we need to add two dots. So we draw back the same object from the previous one and then we add another two okay we draw back the same object from the previous one and then we add another two all right and then we need to state it pattern for a the pattern is add two dots to the previous object this is how you're going to do the pattern or how you're going to state it patterns all right we go, we move to the b question the b question the first object here we have a triangle the second object we have two triangle here and the third one we have three triangle means here we add one triangle we add one triangle for each of it all right we add one triangle one plus one you get two triangle two you plus with one more triangle you get three so the for the fourth object we're gonna add another triangle we draw back the same object from the third one and then we add another triangle we can make a conclusion here add a triangle or one triangle to the previous object. Now we are going to learn how to determine the pattern for the following number. For number, you can Determine the pattern whether in addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Okay, let's look at the, uh, the first question which is A, negative 10 negative 4 2 and 8 since that this number is arranged in ascending order so i assume that we can use addition or multiplication and the number is not a large number from smaller number to big number only not large number so i try to do addition what number do we need to add from negative 10 to obtain negative 4 we need to add by 6. From negative 4, what number do we need to add to get 2? We need to add by 6 also. And from number 2, what number do we need to get 8? Yes, we also need number 6. We add 6. And we can make a conclusion here. Add 6 to the previous number so this is the pattern okay the pattern is at six to the previous number okay we're gonna do the second question which is two 
6, 18 and also 54. And the number also is arranged in ascending order. I try to do addition first. What number do we need to get or to get 6? What number do we need to add from 2 to get 6? I try to add 4. And do I get 18 if I add 4? No. So we cannot use addition already. I try to use multiplication. What number do I need to multiply by 2 to get 6? Multiply by 3. So 2 multiply by 3, I'll get 6. I try to multiply by 3 also for 6. Multiply by 3, I get 18. And then the next one, 18, I multiply by 3. I also get 54. And then I can make a conclusion here. Multiply. The, the previous number by 3. Alright, so we're going to do the third question which is E. We have here fraction. For fraction, I wrote back the number. Okay, For fraction, you need to change all of the number into improper fraction first. Okay, you need to change into improper fraction. If we have whole number here, we change to improper fraction. 1 multiply by 2 over 2, I'll get 2 over 2. Why I multiply by 2 over 2? Because over here, the, the denominator is 2. So I multiply by 2 over 2, I get 2. And then I write back 3 over 2. And 2 multiply by 2 over 2, I'll get 4 over 2. And if this one I write back 5 over 2. And we can see the number also is arranged in ascending order. So I predict that this one is addition. Uh, do we need to add by 1? Okay, we try and see 2 over 2. I add with 1. I'll get 2 over 2. Add with 2 over 2. And I'll get 4 over 2. So it's wrong. We cannot add by 1. But actually, we need to add by 1 over 2. Okay, how? Okay, 3 over 2, I minus with 2 over 2, I'll get 1 over 2. Okay, 3 over 2, I minus with 2 over 2, I get 1 over 2. So, it's actually add by 1 over 2. I try to, to 3 over 2, I add with 1 over 2, I still get 4 over 2. And the next one, I add with half also, and I'll get 5 over 2 and I make a conclusion here at half to the previous number. Next example involves even and odd number. Given a series of numbers 7, 12, 17, 22, 27 until 67. Identify and state the pattern for the sequence of odd number and even number. If we get this type of question, first of all, you need to determine the pattern for the series of number given above. Okay, so, first we have number 7 and then we have 12, 17, 22, 27. From this number, we know that 7, we add. With 5, you will get 12. 12, you add. With 5, you will get 17. 17, we add. With 5, we will get 22. And last one also, we add. With 5, we will get 27. Do we finish yet? Not yet. We need to do until number 67. So we know that the pattern for this series of number is add 5 to the previous number. So for the next one, 27, we add with 5. We will get 32. 32 we add with 5. We will get 37. 37 we add with 5. We will get 42. 42 we add with 5. We will get 47. 47 we add with 5. We will get 52. 52 we add with 5. We will get 57. 57 we add with 5. We will get 62. And the last one, 67. 
Okay, now what do question ask us? They ask us to state the pattern for the sequence of odd number. We just choose the odd number. Okay, which one is the odd number? 7, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57 and 67. So we write back here. Okay, 1, okay, odd number. Odd number 7, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, and last one, 67. And they ask us to state the pattern. Okay. Do the pattern add 5 to the previous number? No. Can you see 7? How much do we need to move to the next number? Yes, we need 10 for the next number. And this one also we need 10. We need 10. This one also we need 10. We need to check each of the number so that we won't make a mistake. 10. And for this one also we add, actually we add 10. So we can make a conclusion here. Add 10 to the previous number. Alright, we're going to do the second one, the even number. So, we choose 12, 22, 32, 42. We choose the even number only, 52 and also 62. So, I write here 12, 22, comma 32, comma 42, comma 52 and last one is 62. And each of the number also we add by 10. Okay, do we need to show all this working? Yes, we need to show this. You will obtain mark from this working. Okay, we need to add by 10. And we make a conclusion here. Add 10 to the previous. Or you can also say previous even number. Okay, previous even number. The diagram show Pascal triangle. What is Pascal triangle? Pascal triangle is a triangle that the number in the row can be determined by adding the number in the previous row. Okay, so first of all, we need to know that the first in the first row we have number one here. Okay, so we just write back the same number on the left side. And the same number on the right side. So, you just write down 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, how do we get the number in this box? 1, you plus with 3, you will get 4. 3 plus with 3, we will get 6 and we write here. 3 plus with 1, we will get 4, we write here. Next row, 1 plus with 4, we will get 5. 4 plus with 6, we will get 10. 6 plus with 4, we will get 10 also. 4 plus with 1, we will get 5. And the last row, 1 plus 5, we will get 6. 5 plus 10, we will get 15. 10 plus 10, we will get 20. 10 plus 15, we will get 15. And last one, 5, we add or plus with 1, we will get 6. This is how Pascal triangle works. We move to Fibonacci numbers. Do you know what is Fibonacci numbers? Fibonacci numbers are a pattern of a number in a sequence. What is that? So, let's look. Alright, for Fibonacci number, normally they will provide us the first two terms. They will provide us the first two terms. They will ask us to find the next term. Alright? Whether the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, or the sixth term, and so on. But they will provide us the first two terms. Alright, so for this one, I'll give you one example how to get the third term. Alright, we have here 0, 1. Let's say we don't know the third term, and we don't know the fourth, and also the fifth. Alright, how are we going to get? This is the first term. This is the second term, right? Okay. This one is the third term. 
And this one is the fourth term. And this one will be the fifth term. So how are we going to get the third term? The third term is provide or is obtained from the addition of the first term and the second term. So we will add 0 and 1. We will add these two. You will get answer 1 you put here. Alright, for the fourth, fourth term, sorry, for the fourth term, Alright, you will get from the second, you add with the third term, which means that 1, you plus or add with 1, you will get 2 and you will be writing down here 2. Okay, and the last one is the fifth term, alright, the fifth term, okay, you will obtain it from the third, you add with the fourth and you will get, okay, the third term is 1. You add with the fourth term, which is 2. And we will get the answer is 3. And we write down here 3. Let's try example 5. For example 5, the question asks us to complete the number sequence below. Like I said just now, that they will provide us the first two terms, but in this uh, a question, they provide us the first three terms. So this is going to be the first term, the second term, the third term, but this one is the fourth term, the fifth term, the sixth term, seventh term, eighth term, and also ninth term. Alright, to get the answer for the fourth term, okay, we need to add the third term and also the second term to get the or to obtain the fourth term. Alright, the value of the third term is 1 and the value of the second term also 1. And we will get the answer is equals to 2 and you fill up in the box. Alright, for the fifth term, uh, we obtain from the, from the fourth term and also from the third term. The value of the fourth term is equals to 2 and the value of the third term is equals to 1. And we will get the answer is equals to 3 and we write down in the box. For the sixth term, okay, to get the sixth term or to obtain the sixth term, uh, we need to add uh, the fifth term and also the fourth term. The fifth term value is equal to 3 and the fourth, uh, fourth term value is equal to 2 and we will get the answer is equal to 5. And the last one is the ninth term. We obtain from the eighth term and also from the seventh term, the addition, okay? And the value of the eighth term is 13 and the value of the seventh term is 8. And we will get the answer is 21. Fill up in the box. We will try the question B. Okay, for the question B, okay, for the question B, we have uh, 1, 3. So, for the third term, okay, the first box is the third term. Alright, for the third term, we get from the second term and also the first term. The addition of the, the two previous terms. Right, the value of the second term is 3 and the value of the first term is 1. Okay, from here, I obtain from here. And it's equal to 4. I fill up in the box. And the fourth term, for the fourth term, we can obtain the fourth term from the third term. Add with the second term. The value of the third term is equal to 4. And the value of the second term is equal to 3. We will get 7. That's all we learned in this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.